I'll find you and end you. I see you. Surprise there. Operation Deadly Omen. It's one of the most ominous names for a Rainbow Six Siege season yet, and it's bringing the most menacing operator the game has ever seen, Deimos. You may remember him as the masked antagonist trying to kill everyone on Team Rainbow. Well, now he's here to try to kill you, and he knows just how to find you. His Deathmark gadget can pinpoint and track a defender's position, and his powerful Vendetta revolver can do this. Or last operator standing. Or against me. The first season of Year 9 is not messing around. Just ask a barricade that's about to encounter one of the extensively reworked shields. There's also an ADS speed update, accompanied by changes to scopes and other attachments, so plan to tweak your loadout. A new season is coming, and Azami's Kiba barriers are falling in a hail of bullets. It's time for Operation Deadly Omen. The deadliest part, of course, is Deimos himself. As a two-speed, two-health attacking operator, Deimos comes armed with a sturdy AK-74M assault rifle, or the burly M590A1 shotgun, plus his unique 44 Vendetta sidearm and a choice of frag grenades or hard breach charges, either of which pairs nicely with his deathmark tracker in hunting down roamers or rooting out entrenched enemies. You can run. You can't hide. The tracker is a small flying probe that Deimos can release into the air to target a specific enemy. Now, when I say specific, I mean it. Deimos literally picks from a list of scanned defenders and chooses who to target. This means that a defender who hasn't been revealed cannot be targeted. So be sure to shoot those drones and deploy those observation blockers if you don't want to get spotted. Once Deimos picks his prey and releases the death mark, it flies to its target and provides a constant live marker for Deimos to see. While the tracker is active, Deimos can't use his primary weapon and automatically pulls out his 44 Vendetta revolver, a high damage, high impact sidearm with a unique holographic sight that is capable of punching slug sized holes in soft surfaces and dispatching defenders effectively. Deimos can move in for the kill or relay the intel the tracker provides to his teammates. Remember, they won't be able to see the live marker, so communication is key. The tracker lasts for a set period of time, but will stop early if the target is dead or if Deimos cancels the ability and calls off the hunt. Then there's a cooldown before he can deploy another, providing he has one available. He starts the round with none and gains a few of them slowly over time, like Legion and his goo mines. Each Deathmark tracker is a critical intel gathering device. Whether Deimos is closing in on roamers or pinpointing exactly where an anchor is positioned on site. But Deimos isn't the only one who gets intel from the Deathmark. When Deimos deploys a tracker, all players are alerted with an on-screen message as to who Deimos is targeting. During the tracking period, the target themselves will see steady pings of Deimos' position and be able to react and inform their teammates of his movements. It's better than being blind as to where your pursuer is coming from, and clever teams can try to set up a crossfire to catch the hunter in his own trap. Still. Wouldn't it be better to avoid getting tracked at all? The Deathmark trackers can't be destroyed, but they can be denied or disabled. Hitting Deimos with a bulletproof camera EMP temporarily stops him from using his gadget and disrupts any tracking in progress. Mutes jammers and Tuberau's Zoto canisters create areas of denial, inside of which a Deathmark can't function. And Vigil's electronic rendering cloak makes him untrackable. If any of these counters are active on an operator when Deimos attempts to track them, he won't be able to. He can't send a death mark after a cloaked vigil, for example. And if a targeted operator uses a counter in the few seconds between the Deimos is tracking alert on screen and the time the death mark actually finds them and begins tracking, the death mark will be canceled and refunded. 
But if a defender is tracked and then they activate the counter by, say, stepping into Mute's jammer radius, the death mark will only be paused. If the target leaves the jammer's radius or Tuberau's freeze wears off and the death mark still has tracking time left, the tracking will resume. It's tenacious, a lot like Deimos himself, and one can only imagine how the Deathmark's tracking ability might pair with other intel-gathering attackers. Operation Deadly Omen knows how to make an entrance, and with the shield rework bringing new power and functionality to shield-wielding operators, so do Montaigne, Blitz, and Fuse. They can now sprint with their shields, burst through barricades swiftly, and throw grenades, reload, or activate their gadget without lowering their shield. Plus, the new free look ability lets them observe their surroundings to ping gadgets or watch for threats without moving their shield out of position. These three can now lean further into their roles as tanks, and deadly ones at that, who can melee with their shields to knock down and eliminate enemies. Defenders will want to take advantage of the new suppressive fire mechanic to slow the advance of a shield player and obscure their vision while figuring out how to take them down. And note that Osa and Clash are not affected by this rework. There are a few more updates to watch out for once Operation Deadly Omen launches. First, the speed of aiming down sights is changing, and sights themselves are adjusting accordingly. Bid a fond farewell to the 1.5x sight, and welcome back the ACOG and R4C combo. Reunited, and it feels so good. Or bad, depending on which side of the sight you're on. Second, you can now break a zombie's Kiba barriers with bullets. The faster the damage stacks up, the quicker the barrier comes down. Third, more maps, more operators, and more AI improvements are coming to versus AI and training modes. Fourth, the locker will now be the place to peruse your cosmetic collections and make sure you're taking advantage of all the cool stuff you've unlocked. Because hey, you earned it. And 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th, there are updates to ranked mode requirements, anti-cheat measures, repelling, LMGs, and more that you can read all about on the official Rainbow Six Siege website. Operation Deadly Omen is coming soon, and Deimos will be available right from the start as part of the Premium Battle Pass and unlockable two weeks later with Renown or R6 credits. For the latest on Rainbow Six Siege, subscribe to this YouTube channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. No surprise there.